What is up everybody? Silas back again today. It's been a super, super busy day. It's actually mid-afternoon now. I have had non-stop people coming in with loads of junk and I had a bunch of people wanting parts, that sort of stuff. Unfortunately, I just don't have time to sell parts right now. I wish I could help people out, but I just can't. A lot of people say, well, why can't you sell parts? It's money on the table. And yeah, it's $20 here, $20 there. But in order for me to sell those parts, I'd have to shut down everything else that's going on right now. And I've got a lot going on. So we just wind up losing money. And I am just absolutely blown away today. I had to roll my sleeves up because it is so hot out here today. It's almost 80 degrees on December 2nd. Who would have thought? I remember we got married on December 1st in 2012. And we had an outside wedding. And everybody told us we were crazy for having an outside wedding in December. But it was a really beautiful day that day too. And here it is nine years later. And it's even warmer now than it was then. It's crazy. I know the cold weather's coming. I don't know when it's coming, but I know it's coming. As long as it doesn't get as cold as last year when we had those negative whatever temperature it was for a week and a half straight, it never got above zero degrees. That was horrible. I've already crushed a bunch of cars today, and I've gotten a bunch of cars ready to go and that sort of stuff, but I figured I'll film crushing a few more for you guys now. And just a quick reminder for those that don't remember or don't watch all my vlogs, I only crush these cars halfway when I load them on my own trailer. And the reason for that is, is because if I crush them all the way, it squishes the cars together and they bind together. And so when they unload my trailer with the claw, they have to rip them back apart and they fall and they drop on my trailer and it tears stuff up. So I prefer to only crush them halfway. That way they'll stay together enough to get them over there, but then the claw can separate them back apart. When I load them on flatbeds going out east out to Tennessee, then I have to crush them together all the way. That way I can get the weight on the trailers. I had somebody all upset at me telling me how horrible of an operator I am because I was crushing the cars halfway together on a previous vlog and they didn't understand or didn't watch my previous vlogs or something. So I just wanted to throw that out there again. It's been a while since I mentioned it.
That's gonna be the last one I crushed for today. It's getting pretty late. Another 30 minutes, it's gonna be dark outside. And I still have to pick up all the catalytic converters I got laying around, gather up all my power tools and batteries, get all that sort of stuff done so I can take them home and charge them, have them ready for tomorrow. One thing I saw on this truck here just now is this frame is rotted out. Now I realize some of you northerners see that all the time, but that's not something you see around here very often. It's kind of crazy. Oh, there's Daddy Longlegs came up to say hello. So what's going on with my home? Well, I did a good one. Ran over my battery. I left actually my whole impact laying on the tire of the loader. And I took off driving. And I was in a hurry to get out of here. And I ran right over the top of it. Didn't hurt the impact any. Just a few scuffs. The battery actually still works fine. I got to take it home and charge it. It's not crushed. So I'm pretty sure it's still safe. I'll keep an eye on it as I charge it. Make sure it doesn't overheat. Got to be careful with lithium batteries. If they get crushed, sometimes they overheat. And spontaneously combust. There was actually a fire at the landfill not long ago at a landfill and it caught on fire a bunch of trash overnight and it burned up one of their machines. Pretty bad deal. But anyway, this side here is smashed in, but this side still works so it still latches in the impact like it's supposed to. Other than that, I think it's just cosmetic. I've been using it all afternoon. It still has almost a full charge, but I'm just going to take it home so I can keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn the place down overnight. I got this area cleaned up pretty good. Like I said before, those two cars there, that Durango and that Honda, I can't do anything with those yet. And that Dakota up on top runs absolutely perfect. I haven't decided if I'm going to try to sell that engine or not. It's just a V6. I wish it was a V8. But honestly, I'll probably just go ahead and crush it. And then the truck on the bottom there has a 9-inch rear end under it, so that's why it's getting saved. I've got a few converters here. That one there, I actually forgot it overnight. I was off of one yesterday, so uh, I'm glad it's still here. But anyway, i got to gather all these up. And I'm going to load them up in the truck, load up all my tools, and get out of here. Here's a few of the bundles I got done. There's three bundles there. I got one load loaded up on the trailer. Those there I didn't crush. I had that old truck cab came in, that PT Cruiser came in. And then I got that Crown Vic ready and put it up on top. And then I've got a couple more stacks there. Made a little bit of room. That truck's gone now. And there's a few cars over here that are gone now. 
Doesn't look like there's much room now, but I really did get quite a few cars crushed. I was really hoping to get these two and that yellow truck crushed. And this car here, I still haven't had time to actually go through it yet. I want to make a video of that just in case there's something good in that car. Because I don't know why, but I have a feeling that there is. It's all locked up and I see stuff in there on the floors scattered around inside it. So it just looks like a car that might be holding something good. I don't know. Heading down here to lock up the gate now. I was also wanting to get rid of that Lincoln before prices change. I'm not sure what's going to happen there. But I'm probably not going to have time to get that done. I moved the Mustang down here. Haven't crushed it yet. Not sure. Still has a few parts on it I want to pull off. I put the forklift down here as well. Probably pull the forks off of this. Those will sell good. And actually this whole thing usually sells pretty good with the forks. People take those and they uh, make mounts and put them on their skid steers and whatnot. But that's all for today. I'm going to head out and I will be back in the morning, hopefully fairly early. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we are back at it again today. It's a pretty nice one. I think this is the last nice, like really nice day we're gonna get for probably the rest of the year. They're talking snow next week now, so we'll see what happens there. But we're gonna get these bundles hauled out. That sun is bright. Whew, man. I made it over here, and of course, they're busy loading a trailer over there, so I've gotta sit here and wait for half an hour. Super frustrating, but oh well. I've almost got enough room to get trailers in at the yard. Then I don't have to worry about this anymore. I can sell to that other company. But anyway, I get over here, and this is one here that my buddy Skyler hauled in yesterday for me. Old uh, 85, I think it was. Ford three-quarter ton. Uh, actually, that was an F-350. It's a single wheel F-350, I believe. Crew cab, big block, but just junk. The motor was blown. It's kind of sad. These crew cabs here just haven't caught on. Someday they probably will, but man, they, these and the Chevys both out of the 80s just aren't worth much money. Like that one there, probably guy would have taken 1500 for it with the blown motor in it. But nobody was interested at that price, so he scrapped it. Counting converters and all that sort of stuff, that's like a $1,000 truck for scrap right now. So, you can't blame people for scrapping stuff right now.
Well, they were nice enough to get out the second claw for me and unload me. They actually got it going again now. So that saved me a little bit of time. These ones here just came in. You got those, the roofs of them smashed in, got them ready to go. And then this Mazda minivan just came in as well. I got to pull the aluminum wheels off of it still. They stuffed a bunch of good junk in it. There's a couple old uh, windmill gearboxes in there and some other odds and ends stuff. Hard telling what all's in there really down underneath there, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to crush it and ship it on in. But before I do that, I haven't eaten anything today and it's noon now, so I'm going to run and get me something to eat. Then I'll come back and probably haul at least two or three more loads into the shredder this afternoon. Now there's a sketchy load for you. Luckily I'm not going very far. The guy brought these tubs out, clear full of junk, and normally I wouldn't do this. I would just haul the tubs by themselves, then come back and get more cars, but they just called and said, whatever I can get in today is the same price, after that it's down $20. So I'm trying to cram as much in there as I can before they close today. This just came in for scrap, little Ford tractor. They say it runs, the distributor was messed up, and to change the points in the distributor is what's bad. But to change that, you have to uh, take it all apart. You have to take the hood off, and that in there's got all that extra bucket and stuff in front of it. So you gotta take the radiator off, all the bucket. You gotta take a ton of stuff off to be able to work on that distributor. And so the guy just said it's not worth it to him, so he sold it at the auction, and it sold for scrap price. And now the last thing I'm shipping out for today is a load of oil. This is all going to heat a guy's shop. I gave him all my used oil and transmission fluid, that type of stuff, and he burns it in his shop heater. I know I have a lot of people asking what I do with my oil, and that's where it goes. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. I'm going to head out. My wife and I are going to get out of town for a couple days for our anniversary. We want to come back. we got some exciting stuff going on. i got multiple farm cleanups i got to do, so you guys will be getting that sort of content. I know you guys really like that. I hope you enjoyed this one. This will be the last day of crushing cars for probably a little while at least. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs up. Please remember to follow me on Facebook if you haven't already. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.